What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the show. If you're new to the channel, my name is Camry, and on this channel, I talk about the full transparency of the behind the scenes of running a Toro car rental business. But before we get started, make sure you smash the like button and subscribe to the channel to be a part of my car rental journey. As you guys can tell from the title, we're gonna talk about the five essentials that you need to start a Toro car rental business. It doesn't matter if you're starting with one car or 10 cars, or if you wanna go big or small. Let's get right into it. The first thing you're gonna need before you even start a Toro car rental business is you're gonna need a vehicle. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is find the right vehicle. You wanna figure out if you wanna pay for this vehicle cash or if you wanna finance this vehicle. They both have their pros and cons. If you wanna pay for this vehicle cash, you most likely gonna to have to give up more money. It might take you longer to meet profits. Or if you wanna get this vehicle financed, you, you might not have to put any money down at all. But what I recommend people to do is to start out with a vehicle that you already own, just to see if you even like the business. You're gonna to wanna to do your due diligence doing research to find this vehicle. You wanna to try to find the best vehicle within a 200 to 300 mile radius because you will make your money in buying the vehicle and not renting the vehicle out. You're gonna to wanna to do research on your market in your area to see what vehicles are going for based the decision that you wanna buy off of those statistics. Now, the second thing you're gonna need, you're gonna need a GPS tracker. The GPS tracker that I personally use is called Bouncy. I like Bouncy because with Bouncy, you can see the speed, the location, how much fuel is left in the vehicle, if there's any check engine lights all within the platform. However, Bouncy does have a couple of cons. The number one con that Bouncy has, it's a tracker that goes into the OBG port. It's not actually wired into the vehicle. If a customer finds the tracker, they can remove it and I will no longer have interaction with the vehicle. So that's the number one con with having a bouncy. But there are numerous other trackers out there that you can find, but I haven't had any problems with anybody removing the tracker. You guys can do more research on that and see what tracker you guys wanna use. Another bonus of using bouncy tracker is that Toro offers deals for hosts that use bouncy. I believe there's a 20% off discount code for a Toro host that you get off of each bounce tracker. The number three thing that you're gonna to need to start a Toro car rental business is a lockbox. A lockbox is a, a square box that you put on the outside of your vehicle when you wanna do a contactless pickup for guests. So then once the customer goes to the vehicle, all they have to do is snap you over a picture of, of their face and their ID and then you can send them the lockbox code. In most instances, for newer vehicles, you will have to also buy an RFID blocker which is all it is, is a blocker that stops the signal from uh, vehicles that have keyless entry. Now you will only need a lockbox, like I said before, if you're doing contactless pickup. Now the fourth thing that is essential to starting a Toro car rental business is a LLC and a business checking account. Now the reason for having an LLC is to separate the business from your person. If something happens on Toro, or somebody gets in a wreck, you don't want someone to be able to come after you and sue you for your personal assets. So just research how to create an LLC and create the LLC for your business. Now, once you have this LLC, you want to get, get an EIN number that goes hand in hand with the LLC is pretty much like the LLC social security number. And then with those two things, the LLC and the EIN number, you're going to go to your local bank. You're going to open up a business checking account. With that business checking account, you're going to keep all your finances from the business from Toro separate from your personal finance. So you can keep track of your profits, your losses, and your cash flow. Now, the fifth and last thing you need to start a Toro car rental business is an open mind. A lot of people go into starting a Toro car rental business, coming into the business thinking it's gonna be easy. Uh, whenever you start something new, no matter if it's a business or a new task or anything like that, you're gonna have a learning curve. You're gonna need to start from the ground up and build something and learn from, from your mistakes. I've made mistakes and I'm pretty sure everybody else that started a Toro car rental company has made mistakes as well. So I definitely recommend to do as much research as possible. If you're watching this video right now, you're, you're starting somewhere to do some research on starting this business. Now I definitely wouldn't recommend getting into this business without doing enough research. Research everything, every aspect, every question you, that you possibly can think of because you don't wanna start something, get into uh, financing these vehicles and then you end up not liking it and you get stuck in this business. I feel like me personally, I think that's the number one reason why business fail is because they don't do enough research to starting the business. They don't properly set the business up and they don't keep track of their cash flow. So if you want to be successful in starting a Toro car rental company, you need to do these five things and I guarantee you it'll put you ahead of other people that are doing the same thing. But um, that pretty much sums up this video. I hope all five of these points helped you guys. And uh, if you have any questions for our next video or anything you, you want to ask me, feel free to DM me or uh, message me on Instagram or uh, Facebook or anything like that. I'll leave all my socials in the link below. Before I get out of here, just make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to grow this channel. Um, I know a lot of this information I'm giving you guys uh, can help you guys out. So if you stay to the end, I appreciate it. I'll see you guys and girls in the next video.